I think it's really, really important that probably many of you will look at this and say, I have no idea what this graph looks like. y equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 1. Does anybody know what that graph looks like? Huh? So before we start thinking this is way too hard a problem, I'm not even going to try it. Let's try to see if we can simplify it, right? Because anytime we've been dealing with quadratics or rational expressions, I have said, well, let's look at the simplified version of this. So we know that we can factor the numerator into x minus 1 times x minus 1, right? which is really x minus 1 squared. And then we can factor the denominator into x minus 1 times x plus 1. Right? Um, I did get a little crazy on this. My apologies. But anyway, um, but let's still work on it. So anyways, what we noticed here is this goes ahead and divides out. right? So that means, didn't ask you this question, but at x equals 1, what kind of discontinuity do we have? A removable discontinuity, which would be a whole. right? So there's a hole at x equals 1. So really, the equation that we're dealing with is just a simplified version of x minus 1 plus x plus 1. And then if we look at this, again, guys, these are like your two equations. So we just set them equal to one another. So we can say x minus 1 um, over x plus 1, and then set that equal to, so let's set it in there. So set the y values equal to one another. And again, I'm using k. Is it OK if I use k instead of c? Yes, it is perfectly fine that way. And then can we now plug in 1 into this equation? Is it OK to substitute? Yes. Could we plug 1 into this one? No, because it made the denominator equal to 0. But what we found is when we take that 0, uh, when we divide that or when we simplify that out, it just creates a whole. Well, now at x equals 1, I have 1 minus 0 over 1 plus 1 equals k. And you guys can see that that answer is 0. Now, there's 